Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 24H2 on unsupported hardware. Check the video description for updated details and links for more information. If you have a computer that doesn't meet the minimum hardware requirements, you can still bypass the restrictions to install the latest version of Windows 11. However, you will need a computer with a processor that includes the POP CNT instruction. You will need to check your manufacturer for more specific details, but usually any CPU from Intel or AMD released in 2008 and later should include the required instructions. The computer must also be using the UEFI firmware. If your computer is using the legacy BIOS, you might need to access the firmware on the motherboard to change it to UEFI. Also, while in the firmware, you have to make sure that the device can boot from USB. This experience is different on each computer, so you will have to check your manufacturer support website for more specific details. Since version 24H2 is officially available, but only for Copilot Plus PC, I will include the steps to get the latest preview of the operating system and the final version. But the step for the final version will only work after the feature update becomes available in October of 2024. This process will delete everything on the computer. As such, make sure to create a full backup of your computer in case you have to recover your system. You have been warned. Okay, let's jump into the steps to clean install Windows 11 version 24H2 on unsupported hardware. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, we need to on the main page where you can download Windows 11. And from here, we need to look into the download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. And from here, just select Windows 11 and click the download button. Now select the language and click confirm. And now simply click the download button to save the image to your computer. Now, if you're trying to download the newest version of Windows 11, when it's not available, you're going to download the previous version, which in this case is 23H2. So keep that in mind. These steps on this page will only work when the feature update is already available. Okay, there are different workarounds to bypass the restrictions and install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, but I find that using the Rufus tool is the easiest method. And to do that, go to this website and then download the latest version available. After the browser finishes downloading the file, open the folder location, which in most cases will be the downloads folder. And then we need to run the Rufus tool and you can just double click that. And now it is a good time to connect a USB flash drive of at least eight gigabytes of storage. Just remember that anything on the drive will be deleted. So make sure if you have anything important to back it up before proceeding. Then you can select the flash drive from the device dropdown menu. Then click the select button. Now browse to the location where you downloaded the file, select it and click the open button. Make sure that your settings matches what you see on the screen right now. And if you want, you can choose a label for the USB drive. In this case, let's just use Windows 11, 24H2 and support it. You don't need to change any of the advanced option. Just click the start button. And in here, that's where you're going to customize the USB bootable media to make sure that it passes all the hardware requirements. The option that you want to check is the remove requirement for 4 gig plus RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0. Make sure to check that. Now, if you want to bypass, now, if you want to use a local account instead of a Microsoft account, make sure to check this option. Furthermore, if you want the setup to create a local account automatically, you can check this option right here and make sure to provide a name that you want to use for that local account. And the other options are optional, but I do want to say that starting with version 24H2, the setup will enable BitLocker automatically on the computer. If you prefer not to enable the encryption on the device, which usually is not recommended, you want to have that level of security, you can check this option. For this video, I'm just going to bypass the the hardware requirements to install Windows 11 version 24H2 on unsupported hardware, and then click the OK button. And then click OK one more time. Once the Rufus tool finishes creating the USB bootable media, you can close the app and make sure to connect the USB flash drive on the computer that you want to upgrade to version 24H2 
again make sure that the computer can boot from usb and the next step is to power on the device and start the installation here press any key to continue and now we are in the updated setup experience and on this page you just need to select your installation language usually the default is the right one and then change the uh, time and currency format again usually the default is the right one then click next and here select your keyboard or output method usually the default setting is the correct one and then click the next button in here select the install windows 11 option and in here make sure to check this option to agree that everything in your computer will be deleted through this process and then click next now if the computer already had a windows 10 or windows 11 installation activated you don't need to provide a product key if this is a new installation you will have to provide a product key but you can always do it later on any situation so in here click the i don't have a product key option select the edition of windows 11 that your product key activates and click next now you need to agree to the terms so click the accept button in here make sure to delete all the partitions on the drive that you want to install windows 11 if you have more than one disk you don't have to delete the partitions on those drive only on the partition that you want to install windows 11. now for some reason in this particular case the setup is even showing the usb drive but we don't need to touch those so in here select the unallocated space after deleting all the partitions on that specific drive and then click the next button to proceed with the installation and on this page just click the install button to proceed now we just need to finish the setup for windows 11 version 24h2 on unsupported hardware and to do that we're going to start by selecting the region and then click yes now select the keyboard layout and click yes in here you can click the skip button but if you need to add a second keyboard layout click this option right here it is always recommended to set a computer name for your computer, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to skip this option. Now we're going to select the setup for personal use option, but this option is only available for Windows 11 Pro. If you have the home edition, you won't see this option and then click the next button. Now we need to create an account for the computer. And for that, we need to click the sign in option. Type your Microsoft account and click the next button type the password i have this account connected with my phone with the authenticator app so i need to authenticate now we're going to create a pen so we don't have to use the password then click ok now choose your privacy settings if you don't agree with any of the privacy settings make sure to turn that off scroll down to get to all the privacy settings and then click the Asset button to continue. You're going to have the chance to restore your computer from a previous backup that the system created using your Microsoft account. If you want to set up the installation as a new computer, click the, the More Options button. And from here, click the Set up as a new PC option. Then one more time, click the Set up as a new PC option. And now the out-of-box experience is going to download updates and finish configuring your computer after that you will have a chance to customize your experience basically here you're going to tell windows how you want the system to personalize tips ads and other recommendations you can always skip this you can also connect your phone but you can always do that later we're going to skip this option and we're also going to skip any of the available promotions and that's it you have now successfully upgraded your computer to windows 11 version 24 h2 on unsupported hardware you can check that your computer is running the latest version by opening start and then going to settings then go to system and on the about page we can confirm that we're running version 24 h2 and this is the latest bill available and this is also the build number that indicates that we're running the latest version of the operating system. Since you are installing Windows 11 on a computer 
that doesn't meet the minimum requirements, you will be able to download updates, but Microsoft is not obligated to guarantee the quality of those updates. So you might or might not encounter issues while using the operating system. So the computer will stay running Windows 11, but on an unsupported state. Also make sure to go to the Windows update settings and download any of the available updates. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.